Java is an object-oriented programming language. In Java, a class defines a new type that can group data and methods to form an object. Classes are basically a blueprint for creating objects. You can also think of a class as a recipe for making cookies. So you only need one recipe to bake a lot of cookies. So that recipe is the class and all the cookies that you make, those are the objects. And a class consists of fields and methods which are collectively called class members. Let's take a look at an example of how to create a class and also create objects from that class. Let's create a new class called person. To do that I'm gonna right click in my package explorer and select new class and I'm gonna name the class person and make sure when you name the class to start it with a capital letter. And then I'm not going to click the checkbox to add a main method in there, and you'll see why in a second. So here is class person. It is completely empty. The body has no code inside it. And I'm just going to leave it just like that for now. And let's go to this class demo, which has a main method in there. So this is a separate file, but I have access to this person class because I'm within the same package. And I'm going to say person a equals new person. I'm going to create a person object called A. And I don't get any syntax errors or anything. It allows me to create this person object A, although person is completely empty. And person, I can't give that person any kind of data such as a name or an age, and I can't make that person really do anything such as you know eat or sleep or whatever it is that a person does. So let us go back to person and there's two major parts in the class. There are the fields and the methods. And the fields are the things that describe person, such as the string name, which is the person's name, and int age. Let's keep it very simple with two fields, name and age. And then the methods, these are things that the person can do. So let's add a method that will print out the person's name and age. Let's call this public void say name. Give the method a body and inside the body of that method we will simply do a system.out.print line. My name is plus name, the name field, and I'm age years old. That's all we're going to do in there. And something that may affect one of the fields is the person can have a birthday. Public void have birthday. And if somebody has a birthday, age plus plus. Age goes up by one. It increments by one. So now I have some fields and two methods in my person class. I can go back to my class demo inside the main method where I created person A. I can give person A a name now, A dot name, call him Bob, A dot age, and set Bob to 25 years old. I can also create another person because remember that person class is a blueprint for creating people. So I can create as many people as I want. Person A and person B equals new person. B dot name is Mary, let's give Bob a girlfriend, and B dot age is 35, so Bob likes older women. And there are our two objects of type person, A and B. And notice that when I want to set the first person's name and age, I call them, I call those fields with the A object, and for the second person, I use the B object. And similarly, if I want to print out their information, a dot say name will print out, hi, my name is Bob, and I'm 25 years old. And b dot say name will print out the data for object B. My name is Mary, and I'm 35 years old. And watch what happens if I say a dot have birthday. And then say a dot say name again and it, you can see that Bob's age went up by one. 
So by the way, I also want you guys to know that this is not normally how you set fields for an object. It's not just the name of the object dot field name. In the next video, we're going to learn about creating getter and setter methods and setting these fields to private for information hiding. So watch the next video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.